Hi everyone, this is Carla again and I want to talk a little bit more about Payo and the basic moves and the things that you need to... Oh, there's, there's my little kitty. We call her Kitty Mrs. Grumpy because she's the grumpy cat's wife. Say hi, kitty. Don't trust her. She's super grumpy. Mrs. Grumpy. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I'm going to talk a little bit more about some Payo moves and the things that you need to uh, take care and kind of like visualize because you really want to take care of your core. There are certain moves that you need to be aware of and there are certain parts of your body that you need to take care of so you avoid any injuries, okay? So here we go. I'm going to start with the first move and the first move is just the plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, okay? So that's kind of like a flow. We're going to start at plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. So you can see what I want you to focus on those moves, all right? Here we go. Okay, so you're going to start on fours, putting your hands right under your shoulders, tuck your feet in, your toes in, and go up to plank. See how my body is completely aligned? It's like you can draw a straight line from my shoulders to my feet. So that is incorrect. Do not curve your back. This is another incorrect way. So don't curve your back either up or down because you're gonna put a lot of pressure on your lower back. This is a way to do it. If you cannot hold a plank, you can put your knees down and try to make sure your upper back, this is the wrong position and this is wrong again. So again, you wanna make a straight line with your, from your shoulders all the way down to your knees. And this is straight plank, down to chaturanga, so your elbows go back towards your feet. This is with your feet down, so for beginners. Okay, so for beginners, you go down on chaturanga, elbows go towards your feet, and then up to upper dog, okay? If you feel pressure on your lower back, then make sure you keep your back straight, okay? But chaturanga, I mean, um, up dog ideally has your back curved up, you look up to the sky or the ceiling, okay? Elbows are bent, shoulders are back, open your chest, all right? So that is up dog. You can stretch to child's pose if you feel pressure on your lower back. Go back to up dog, and then from up, up dog, you're gonna go to down dog. On down dog, you wanna make sure you're pressing down your heels and your back is straight. See again how I am trying to make a straight line in my body. It curves a little bit because I'm pretty flexible right there on my back, but if you can't, that's fine. Just make sure you're pressing your back in. Chest goes towards your knees. That's what you wanna kind of like think about. You're gonna go down chaturanga, up dog, tuck your feet in, down dog, and hold it. Always stretch to child's pose in between. Here's my cat again. Okay, so here's another tip for you. When you go down, when you go down on plank, when you're putting all the pressure on your hands, I really want you to put your hands like this, okay, and press every single finger down. So what happens is that when we go on plank, we usually press our wrist on the floor so this is your body weight and if you're not used to it it doesn't matter how much you weight but if you're not used to it you are going to put a lot of pressure on your wrist here right here when you're on plank so when you put every single finger press down on the ground or the floor when you go on plank when you do the chaturanga up dog and all the poses that have you down on the floor you press down and this is lifted a little bit or so you feel like a little bit uh, like an air bubble right here in this part of your hand. So what happens is that all the pressure of your body is going to be um, spread out throughout your hand. So you're not gonna feel as much pressure on your wrist and you are going to avoid any injury or any pain. A lot of people who start doing yoga are not used to this. They start going like this and they are like, well, you know what, I'm feeling it on my wrist. And I have a lot of clients who have to stop doing the class just for that reason. 
Um, we write a lot, we do a lot of things with our hands, and the last thing you wanna experience is pain right here. So make sure you practice. So what I would suggest to you is that you start practicing at home, doing this, um, you know, like half sun salutation, because this is part of the sun salutation, but kind of like just practice on plank, a little bit of chaturanga, up dog, down dog, and then go back to plank. If you need to stretch, I suggest that you go to child's pose. Um, child's pose, you just press your, uh, your hips go down and you press your fingers down on the ground so that way you rest your shoulders, you rest your back, but you also uh, rest your arms. So it is important that you rest in between, but make sure you practice putting that pressure throughout your hands, okay? I hope you like it and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.